بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم قال الله تعالى وإذا الموجودة سئلت لأي ذنب قتلت Respected friends, the issue of honor killings dates back to Arabia pre-Islam. The Arabs, whenever they would give birth to a girl, they would bury alive that girl because they considered the birth of a girl a stain on the honor. And the Quran condemned this mindset. <coughs> and the Quran informed them on the day of Qiyamah, the child will be asked that for what reason were you murdered? Unfortunately today, my friends, the very same thing Islam came to eradicate, we find within ourselves. According to statistics, from the year 2010 to 2014, there were 11,000 crimes related to honor. Every year in the UK, there are 12 to 15 honor killings. According to the UN, there are 5,000 honor killings every year in the world. Now, why have I chosen to address this topic today? A topic rarely talked about. Nevertheless, very important. We have certain segments of our society who justify honor killings. Where it, seem as, it seems okay for somebody to take the life of somebody else, generally within their own family, because they perceive that their honor has been harmed. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam said in a hadith recorded by Imam Bukhari in his Sahih that the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will continue to envelope a believer as long as he does not shed that blood which is haram for him. And unfortunately my friends, some people believe that the justification of honor killings comes from deen. Whereas from the very beginning, Islam has condemned honor killings and crimes related to honor. Yes, every Muslim parent, brother, father has a responsibility of ghira. In Urdu we say ghirat towards his wife and children. But that also has a limit where a person must not take any action with his own hands. Any unlawful action in his own hands. 